five of seven. I do hope you'll like it here. It's a simple life, but a wholesome one. And in time, perhaps you'll start to think of us as your family. I'm gonna be upfront here. I have no fucking idea how to review this movie or what to say about it. It's a weird one. The Book of Birdie is directed by Elizabeth Shuck, I believe it's pronounced. Shuck? Sh 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 it stars Ilarita Mendovsky, and it tells the story of Birdie, who is a young, repressed girl who, after dealing with some trauma, is sent away to live in the Abbey and become a nun and train to become a, a, a sister. And she's very odd. And she sees dead nuns everywhere. And she has a possible miscarriage, maybe, and keeps the little fetus in a jar of vinegar and names it Ignatius and talks to it. I genuinely can't figure out what to say about this one. Because, on one hand, I think it was excellent. On the other hand, it was not a horror movie in the slightest. And I'm not the kind of person who goes, oh, wasn't scary, it's not, like, it's not a horror film. It's a film possibly about a young girl maybe becoming a saint, possibly, who knows? One thing I can say for sure, Ilarina Mabedovsky, for her first feature film, performs brilliantly. This is a character with A, not a lot of dialogue, and so she's forced to get a lot across simply based on body language and facial expressions alone, and she does that incredibly. She really sells this character and makes Birdie herself quite likable and enjoyable, and mind you, the character is overall very innocent and very sweet and kind. And Memodovsky really sells that, and she really does an excellent job in this film. The other thing that I absolutely adored is the cinematography, because holy shit, this movie is gorgeous. It is so well shot, it is so well edited, it is, everything about this movie technically is a fucking marvel. This is breathtaking cinematography. And mind you, that's helped by the overall location and the atmosphere. It's this really stark, snowy countryside with just a church that sometimes has, you know, a, a nun hanging from a tree in the background. The overall film, the best way I could describe it is haunting. It is very gothic and very stark and a lot of muted colors and it's all it's all beautiful this is a gorgeous film i can't stress that enough i'm struggling to review this movie with and what i'm struggling to rate this movie with is the fact that i don't know what to make of it is it supposed to be disturbing is it supposed to be charming is it supposed to be whimsical is it meant to be sacrilegious? Is it meant to be praising religion? I don't know. I have no idea if it's supposed to be celebratory, if it's supposed to be creepy, if it's supposed to be a slap in the face of Christianity, if it's supposed to be a love letter to Christianity. I don't know what to make of this film, and I feel that I'm not qualified to review it as a result. I just want to use this video more to tell people that this film exists, and that it is really well made, and that if you are cool with really ambiguous films that, I'll be real, I'm not a religious person, I don't know what to make of this movie. But, and I'm sure there are people out there who aren't who will be able to make something of it, I'm sure there's people out there who are religious who will not be able to make something of this movie, but that being said, I just kind of want to take this time to let you all know that this movie is a thing. It is... It is hauntingly beautiful, it is very well acted, it is incredibly well directed. Elizabeth Schuch did an amazing job with this, but I don't feel as though I'm qualified to rate it because I still, days later, do not know what to make of this film. That being said, check it out because it's really surreal and really strange. There's a lot of really gorgeous animation in there and some really fucking weird imagery. Give it a watch. 
see what y'all think of it. I have no idea to this point. I think I enjoyed it, but I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, guys.